how do you perform then b plus oh, oh. Oh yeah, uh, classic. Oh sorry. That, that's classic. <laughs> that's that's, <laughs> that's high, high school. school. <laughs> yeah. Ah wow. I can't remember. Yeah, but the uh, total marks. But you are given a chance to choose um school. School. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. What were your choices? Um I can't remember the national schools, but my first choice for provincial school yeah. was Lugulu. It it's like one of the best schools in Western Kenya. Yeah. It's now a national school, but then it was a provincial school. Okay. So that's what I selected. I'm so and happy I went there. Went. Yes. You went to Lugulu, Lugulu, yes. Lugulu Girls. Yeah, it's in Webuye mm-hmm. in Bungoma County. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. So you make this transition, you go to uh Lugulu Girls. Mm-hmm. You're the first girl, you're the first one. Yeah. First girl in your family. So you're going to Lugulu. How was, you know, the entry into... <laughs> it was lovely. It was beautiful. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's a all lovely take school. You? No. Uh, who took you to high school? I think, if I remember correctly, my mom mm-hmm. and I think two of my siblings. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and, and school itself? Oh, the school was a lovely place. Oh, it, it shaped me in so many ways. Mm-hmm. I met some really incredible individuals, mm-hmm. including one of my teachers mm-hmm. called Mrs. Kui. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mrs. Kui and her family took me in at some point, I think, from my form two mm-hmm. and started paying my school fees, doing shopping for me because I used to go home a lot of times because of school fees. Mm. And at some point, they made a decision as a family, her, the husband, Mr. Kui, and then um, the children. So I'd, you know, go there, get the shopping, go to school, mm. after school, pass by there, stay mm. for a day or two, then mm. go to Bungoma. Mm. Um, oh, that was that was amazing love. Like right now in my life, I value love. Mm. I love empathy. I I, I cherish kindness and generosity because mm. I learned that from Mrs. Mm. Gray. Mm. Um, I got into extracurricular activities like playing the sports, mm. taking part in sports. Mm. I was a prefect. Mm. And I remember this time when I was, uh, the teachers were calling prefects out to, to, to get into the center of the parade. Mm-hmm. And so people expected my name would be called. I also mm. expected that. Mm, mm. But I thought maybe I'd be a prefect for something else, but not dining hall mm, prefect. Because mm. as a dining hall prefect, you needed to be loud, mm. um, to be extroverted mm. and out there. Mm. But I'm not that. So even when my name was called out as a dining hall prefect, guys were like, why? <laughs> Uh, I wondered how it was gonna be, mm. but you know what? I, I survived. Mm. Um, yeah, and it 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 forced me to dig within mm. to then bring up out the leader in me. Mm. Yeah, so I appreciate mm. um, some of those moments. That's really cool. Really, really, really nice. And thank thanks to the family. You said it's the family of. Mrs. Kui. Mrs. Kui's family. Mr. and Mrs. Kui. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Th- those are wonderful gestures. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, also very, uh, very interesting experience you've shared there. The other parts of high school, um, mm-hmm. what were you enjoying in terms of subjects? Social education and ethics. Mm. Oh, I loved it. Mm. I loved it. Mm. I used to enjoy it. And mm. languages, of course, mm. literature, mm. English. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And so, and you, you did your high school all in this one place. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, what? So you exit with a B plus. Mm-hmm. That's you. You've already pointed yeah. to that. And um, so high. And but also during high school is when you also form into a lot of people form into, you know, a teenage, as a teenage girl, what are your experiences? Um, what do you remember as you ex- being your experiences as a teenage girl? That's an interesting question. Mm-hmm. What I remember mm-hmm. is responsibility. Okay. All I remember yeah. <laughs> is responsibility. Mm-hmm. So I had many friends mm. at school mm-hmm. and at home. So mm-hmm. maybe over the school holidays, mm. um, of course, we'd be spending lots of time fetching mm. water at the river or on the farm, mm. planting, mm. Uh, harvesting and all that stuff. But mm. then I re- also remember having times to play with some of my friends. Mm. Um, 
Yeah, but largely mm. taking care of my siblings. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's 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 in- interesting and incredible. Um I, I mean spending quite a bit of time you know as responding to because mm. <laughs> uh, the responsibility is that responding to your abilities yeah. and bringing the best in others. Um so then you exit into you exit from high school into yeah and remember we have the gap the year, year the one year yeah. before joining university yeah. so that one year mm-hmm. i enrolled at a computer college and what what just in terms of um calendar year year time frame just so that we are able to all follow what what's happening what year are we at and what's happening in the country so 2001 of course the political mm, mm. climate is really charged yeah, yeah i think that's when i started understanding bits and pieces of what was happening in the political space because mm. of the conversation in the family mm-hmm. especially through my dad mm. um but it didn't quite hit me as such mm. till um i joined university and i've just remembered something about primary school sure 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 So I remember being a prefect mm-hmm. and having this maths teacher mm. who rarely used to come to class and mm-hmm. we we're just about to sit um mm. KCPE. Mm. And I went to the principal and said, "You know what? This teacher is not coming to class. We are worried and blah blah blah." And she said, "Oh, but you're the prefect, so you can draft a letter to the district education officer and action will be taken." So I went, wrote the letter, then wow. took it to her to post. So one day we were walking going to the assembly and I see funny looks on people's faces, especially teachers, and I wondered oh, what's happening. Only to discover that uh, the district education officer got the letter and the teacher was in trouble. Yes. And then my principal called me and and told me, "Sir Kain, you are a responsible prefect. You took action on your own volition. Nobody asked you to do that. You just did that because you're the prefect and you can say you discussed it as a class um and then took the action and wrote the letter, but you will be receiving a call to go meet with the teacher and the district said I was scared. I said, "But no, <laughs> Madam principal you asked me to and she said no I did not <laughs> Yeah so oh man that was so much trouble so I went back to class and I told my classmates so guys this is what has happened and they said no Karen yes we were complaining but we did not ask you to write a letter on our behalf as a class Oh man that was problematic my grades started going down Everyone disowned you Yes yes the head, the head teacher <laughs> your fellow yes. students yes yeah that's that's so interesting because i mean is a is is a true spirit of advocacy yeah you know everyone everyone is like yeah they'll they'll chocha you chocha is word for mm-hmm. like you know uh, charge you up uh but on the in the real moment you end up standing by yourself yeah exactly so what till one day like it was getting out of hand mm-hmm. and my father traveled all the way from lodwa came to the school and had a meeting with the um, the teacher but also got to write a letter to the district education officer to say you know what I request that nothing happen nothing bad happens to this teacher because then my daughter will suffer blah 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 apologized on my behalf but also said um I wasn't on the wrong you know we paid school fees and so we were entitled to be to be taught um so yeah the teacher stayed and guess what One day when I was at the University of Nairobi I bumped into the teacher. Yes. Yeah. And how was that interaction? <laughs> It was interesting. Because I think either he forgave me just ah. before I cleared school or mm. something. Mm. He had let made go. peace. Um yeah because he was happy to see me. Mm. I was happy to see him mm. said hi. Mm. Um and he was pursuing I, I think his degree in education. Uh, he hadn't carried by law. No, mm. so so mm. I think that was a lovely moment. Mm-hmm. But then I remember that story because when mm. I was going to join the University of Nairobi, one of the things my parents sat me down and told me mm. was mm. 
politics uliachia high school you can't join university so politics. please yeah ile manene ya kuongea on behalf of other people and yeah. writing letters and whatever yeah. stop it yeah and the funny thing is i got to the university and discovered sonu 